Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 41. So we've completed the game, uh, sort of. What we haven't done is the post game that now opens up for us. So we find ourselves here in Pallet Town and before I begin, I'm actually just going to show you guys uh, the team and whatnot in case you're here for just the post game. So we're all of, all of our Pokemon are 55 or higher. We have a, a Raichu, a Charizard, a Nidoking, a Vaporeon, a Hitmonlee, and a Clefable. Uh, all of which actually did very well in the Elite Four, which is amazing. In this episode, my plan is to go back to the Sevi Islands, where the post-game really happens, and begin our journey there. Now, of course, the best way to get there is to use Fly, so hopefully you have something that has, has the move Fly, and we're going to head to Vermilion City, where we are going to take the boat all the way to one island. I'll see you guys there. Now, it's worth noting that you won't have access to this particular Pokedex that we have right here unless you've caught, we have the Numerical Mode National. We now have the National Pokedex, which is amazing. Uh, you will not get this Pokedex if you don't have at least 60 Pokemon, so make sure that you caught 60 Pokemon. Alright, so we're back here on one island. The first thing that we want to do is head to the Pokemon Center and see how our good friend, Chelio, is doing here. Cory! How have things been for you? Oh, is that right? You've caught more Pokemon. Do you know what? Maybe I can be useful to you. I'm modifying the network machine right now. I'm changing it so it can handle trades over long distances. Maybe to Johto and, and Hoenn, possibly. When I get finished, you'll be trading for exotic Pokemon from trainers far away. But there's a slight catch. For the link to work, the machine needs a special gemstone. It's supposed to be on one island, but I haven't found one yet. Who knows where it could be? Alright, so our first goal is obviously this gemstone. It's not going to be on Treasure Beach, although you're welcome to go back to Treasure Beach and get the new items that have inevitably spawned there. Uh, that's worth mentioning. I'm not going to get any more, like, Pokeballs or anything, but I would suggest going to Mount Ember, uh, with some Pokeballs in your, in your, uh, inventory. Now I'm gonna get out of this, because I don't need that, and I'm gonna pop a Max Repel, because we've already, obviously, already have done all, what, what am I, where are words I'm trying to say? We've already done, uh, this route, so, like, I don't, nothing's new here. Uh, and you'll notice that there's not a lot of new Pokemon that we can catch, but there are Pokemon that are new that we can catch, if that makes sense. That makes sense. I think that made sense. It's also worth mentioning that trainers now that you use the Verse Seeker against, uh, which we I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. Alright, so before, these trainers were all around level, I'd say, 37-ish. Uh, so now if we go to fight them, let's make sure that we have Pokemon that can actually do this. Okay, we're fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and fight them now. My big brother and I make an awesome combination. I'm just showing you guys that their levels have now increased. They are now level 51 and level 50. Uh, that's pretty huge. Um, it's worth mentioning that, that uh, this spot just became an even better place to train if you so choose. Now, I don't recommend training past, like, level 65 in the post game. You really won't need it. At level 65, we'll be able to undertake most of the challenges that are even in this game. And down goes that primate. So I just wanted to show that that is possible, and that is there. Uh, we're just gonna run in here real quick and use this to heal. Uh, not that we need it, but I think, is this guy new? No, he's not new. He's been in there. He's been in there. Okay. All right. I was just making sure. So our real goal here is to go to Mount Ember. Uh, now, the post-game is really only going to be about five episodes at the most, I'm thinking. Uh, so, uh, for those of you that are like, I'm done with Fire Red, don't worry. Uh, we're almost we're almost at the end, friendos. So, up here in Mount Ember. Remember when we were here not too long ago because of the speed I've been putting these videos out, which has been amazing. Mount Ember, here we go. Uh, no new Pokemon that we can find just yet, but over here... Repel's effect wore off, that's fine. Whew. Punch through at last. Let's go treasure hunting. Any treasure we find, we haul back to the warehouse. Understood? Oh, and what are the passwords at the rocket warehouse? I mean, what, you forgot the password? There's actually two. The first one's Goldeen Need Log, which is literally Goldeen Need Log backwards. And the second one is, hey, this snoop's been listening in. So it looks like we need a second password. So I thought Team Rocket disbanded. You've been eavesdropping on us, haven't you? Well, yeah, but like, I thought you guys disbanded. What are you doing? We beat your leader. Did you not hear? All right, so he's going to send out a Cubone. We're going to hit it with that beautiful, beautiful um, uh, Brick Break that we have. Uh, and that will be able to two-shot any Pokemon that we've come up against for the most part. Actually, because Raichu's attack is pretty high. Why'd you have to win? And trying to horn in on our treasure? Don't bet on it. All right, so we're going to use Brick Break. Take down that level 35. Oh, wow. Level 35 Rattata. Like, what is wrong with you, dude? 
and we'll be able to take down the Sandshrew as well. We're just going to cruise through these Pokemon with uh, with the one and only Raichu. I don't know why that took so long for Raichu to do. I think we flinched. That's what... What a setback. We'll have to regroup. You, don't even think about taking a step inside here. If you know what's good for you, don't even think about it. Yeah, we're going to go in there. All right, there's two new Pokemon that we can actually find here. So, let's take a look at them right now. So the first and only real Pokemon that we can find is Slugma, but we're also going to look at its evolved form, which is Magcargo. Slugma is a pure fire type, but when it evolves, it becomes a fire rock type. The only typing to exist uh, in Pokemon, as far as I, I can think of. Fire rock, Magcargo, that's it. Uh, and looking at those stats, they're not that great. However, uh, that physical defense is pretty damn high, and that special attack actually gets a boost in Generation 7 as well. So he can actually do some interesting damage. Now, it's worth mentioning that the only way to get him is on the very deepest floor of this particular dungeon using Rock Smash. It's a 10% encounter rate, so if you want one, um, you could pick one up. Now, what I was going to suggest in this bio, but after doing some research, uh, absolutely not anymore. Uh, you don't need to get a Slugma, and you definitely shouldn't. I mean, they're not very good. But it's two abilities, Magma Armor and Flame Body. Uh, those are two different abilities that do the same thing outside of battle, which is they actually cut the rate. Um, it's faster for eggs that are in the party with that Pokemon to hatch. Unfortunately, that wasn't introduced until Emerald, which is after fire red was released so you can't actually do that in this game you have to actually do that in emerald but it's just worth mentioning that uh these abilities in the future will be able to do that and that's that's mag cargo and obviously i really want to catch them so we're going to cruise through here i want to make sure that we are using our item finder don't worry about these rock smashing these these things that you can you can use rock smash on don't worry about that right now we're just going to continue onwards and uh and maybe get through this much up okay there we go and this is a new path that was not here previously um and this is a really short little dungeon so you don't have to worry about it now i could i could use a repel but i am uh hoping that we just catch one so we can add it to our pokedex now you absolutely need strength to get through here you also need rock smash so what i'm going to do is if you guys remember uh i actually got rid of rock smash on our dear old, our dear old beautiful, or no, I didn't get rid of Rock Smash on Bruce, did I? I didn't, so we're fine. So we're just gonna continue on here. Uh, we're going to break that. There's nothing in there. We'll break this one too. Nothing, nothing. Uh, Slugma, okay, so we we're able, we're able, we're able, we're able, we're able to catch this one. Uh, quick attack's gonna kill it, that's unfortunate. And we hit level 57, not a big deal. So let's continue on. We need to use our strength, uh, our strength here to solve this puzzle uh which is which is interesting um if i'm not mistaken we need to send this one here right that's probably the best bet oh my god and we caught slugma all right its data was added to the pokedex a common sight in volcanic areas it slowly sithers around in a constant search for warm places i think it's very cool that that's our our first pokemon that's from gen 2 that you can't actually get in the original games uh that we were just able to get so we're gonna actually pop that like that and then yeah look at that easy peasy a little bit of a strength puzzle not a hard one now this is actually worth breaking these rocks because not only can you get slugmas from them but it is also possible a 10 percent chance to obviously get mag cargo like i said before it's evolved uh mag cargo uh slugmas evolved form uh so we'll just go ahead and break these as quickly as we can um unfortunately for us we weren't able to get anything but that's okay we weren't able to get anything good uh and we need to use strength again uh this one if i'm not mistaken is actually fairly easy right so we want to we want to use that make sure there's nothing there and then we'll push this all the way down because we know there's no items there and then we can just continue on um there is another puzzle all the way over here if i'm not entirely mistaken uh all right now we can use a max repel because we actually don't we don't totally need to worry about um these pokemon anymore so i want to make sure that we can get through at least this first side quest right now uh and then obviously we'll go down here and we will hit this one that will hit over great and then we can go up here uh and this actually leads to the way out which is not where we wanted to go um so my bad my bad we actually want to go back down and um well this is going to be interesting so we're going to have to hit this all the way up and then hit this like that which is actually fine that was able to do it for us um and then we'll need to hit this one this is just kind of a long way of doing it but that's okay 
Uh, there's no items. I don't think there's actually any items that you can find here. So we'll head down uh, this one more floor. And what is this? What is this, I wonder? It's Braille. It's Braille on screen. It's literally what this is. It's Braille. Uh, I don't think there's actually any items that we can get here. But I thought that I would actually be able to um, tell you what this Braille says. It says, everything has meaning. Existence has meaning. Being alive has meaning. Have dreams. Use power. Very good. Very good stuff. All right, so let's head down into here. Uh, that's what it says. And look at this. What is this, I wonder? A ruby. We're playing a third generation game and we just got a ruby. So we'll put the ruby in our key pocket. Uh, we can look. There's nothing here. And there's one more braille right here. That's literally what upstairs said altogether combined. Everything has meaning. Uh, existence has meaning. Being alive has meaning. Have dreams. Use power. I love it. I love it. So good. So good. Uh, now, it's interesting because they actually included a chart uh, to be able to read Braille with uh, new copies of this game, which is which is very funny. Um, or at least I'm pretty sure that's, that's what it was. So now we can just use this, go all the way down and out, and we will be able to now leave uh, this little mountain path here in Mount Ember. I'm just going to go ahead and use another Max Repel because we don't need any more uh, encounters. And uh, this will lead us right back to the entrance. I'm just going to go ahead. There were no secret items to be found here whatsoever. But now, let's head all the way back to our friend Chelio. We can just use a Pokemon that knows fly. All right, now let's see what Chelio is doing over here. Now, he did say that he needed some gemstones. So, oh, that's, that's, and we will give the ruby to Chelio, uh, which is great. Now, we'll notice that there's another perfectly symmetrical uh, thing there. Um, may I ask one more giant favor? While I was studying gemstones, I s discovered something important. There is another gem that forms a pair with this ruby. That other gemstone is supposed to be in the Sevi Islands. Cory, please, I need you to go find the other gem. Cory, may I have your fairy pass and the town map? And we will give him our stuff, uh, and we will instead receive an extra page for the town map. And now we have the rainbow pass, which means that we can now go to every island that is available, available to us here on the Sevi Islands. And the first island that we want to go to is none other than Two Island, even though we've already been to Two Island. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Uh, I, I sped through that because I can. Uh, and obviously the same places, same things here, except now we can talk to this person. Um, I'm from Kanto, you see, the people of Three Island. He'll actually have more stuff for us to buy, including some Ultra Balls, so I highly suggest uh, just buying some Ultra Balls. Why not? I'm going to make sure that we have 20 total. Uh, he now says Soda Pop and Fresh Water as well. Uh, that's just a thing that's worth mentioning. Now, there's also two mini games that we can play. There's the Berry Crusher mini game and the Dodrio. Unfortunately, I don't have wireless capabilities because obviously uh, I had to emulate the game. So that's that. Uh, now, it's also another, worth, another thing worth mentioning is I missed this the first time, but there's actually... Maybe I didn't miss it. Am I crazy? There is supposed to be a PP Max right here, but maybe we got it. I'm thinking we got it. We must have got it last time. Um, that's interesting. I thought I missed it, but I guess I got that PP up, or PP Max. Okay, and now we want to head all the way, uh, not to that. We want to head to Three Island, because there's one more little thing that we can do in Three Island. So let's go do that real quick, and then we can start exploring the next... Oh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Jesus. Jesus, Crouch. All right, let's go to Three Island. There we go. Uh, Three Island. Now, you'll remember this pass that was right here before. This is the Three Isle Path. Now, remember that guy that was here uh, who, you know, said he was trying to dig this path, blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, he has gotten through. Here he is. Hey there, how's it going? Did you hear? I've struck gold. You remembered that I was prospecting, didn't you? You can't begin to imagine just how happy I am. So, I'll show you. This is for you. Obtain the nugget. We put the nugget. That's a nugget! I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. It's actually worth keeping this guy in mind, by the way. Uh, because in a future Let's Play that we do here on the channel, or a future walkthrough, that guy is going to be a character. I'm just giving you a little hint. Right there, we will find another nugget which is great, and that's all of the items that we can find here in the Three Isle Path. But we can finish this up, come out here, and this is the Three Isle Port. 
which just has this tiny little patch of grass. Well, let's see what's in this tiny little patch of grass, shall we? A Dunsparce! That's it! That's all that's in this little patch of grass is a Dunsparce. Let's go ahead and take a look at Dunsparce. Dunsparce, Dunsparce, Dunsparce. Now, there's not much to say about this normal type Pokemon, except look at that freaking health. This thing has a ton of health, uh, not very good stats anywhere else. However, its abilities are what set it apart. Run away, throw it away. You don't need that Pokemon. Get it out. Dunsparce is terrible if it has run away. That Serene Grace, though, if a move has an extra effect, the chances of it occurring is doubled. That means Headbutt. That's going to be a flinch. Uh, or you want to hope so. Rock Slide, that's a flinch. Uh, Body Slam, that's a Paralyze. These are moves that you want on this Pokemon, and if you do that, you will be able to use Dunsparce to great success. It is the most frustrating thing to go against, is a para-flinching Dunsparce. You will literally just slowly just chip any opponent to death. Uh, I've seen people competitively use Dunsparce, and, and I just, I hate the Pokemon. I hate it. But also, it's really good. At Paraflinching. Dunsparce was caught. If spotted, it escapes by burrowing with its tail. It can hover just slightly using its wings. No. No. Dunsparce is the worst. Alright, that is literally all you can do here, but I just thought that I would show you that this is the only place in the game where you can catch Dunsparce, so at least you get to fill your Pokedex, and you get two nuggets out of it, so that's pretty cool. Alright, well... Time to use the ferry, because we're gonna go all the way to the four, fourth island? Fourth island. Yeah, I think that's the next one. Yeah. So, Four Island is the first new place that you can actually, like, fully go to in this in this uh, post-game world. This Pokepocalyptic Pokemon world. Oh, no. It's feckin' freezing. Hey, Cory, what are you doing here in the Sevy Islands? You should quit copying me, you know? Anyways, I already got my Pokemon egg, so I'm done with this island. <laughs> I bet you don't even know about Pokemon eggs. You'll never fill your national Pokedex that way. By the way, I saw someone we both know on this island. Why don't you go look around if it makes you curious? Me? I don't have the time to waste. Be smelling ya. Um... That's weird. Alright, well, we ran into Freezing, which is interesting, and we are here on Four Island. So we're gonna go ahead, use that Rock Smash, and right there we will be able to get a Star Piece. You need Rock Smash to be able to get that item. There is another item, if I'm not totally mistaken, um, there's another hidden item, I know. Is it, is it down here? Am I crazy? We can't surf here. I think I'm crazy. Guys, I'm, I've officially lost my damn mind. Um, well, I know that there's some here anyways, but this is Four Island, the warm blue flow island. Right here is the Pokemon daycare that you, uh, that is super important in this game and was super important to the competitive battling. It's not super important anymore because there's no real reason to breed Pokemon uh, as of, as of you know, right now because nobody's really playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So right here, I just want to go ahead and grab this item. We will be ending this episode shortly. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how long it was because I haven't been paying attention. Right there, we can get a Stardust, which is super cool. And there are two new Pokemon that we can find by surfing in this area. There's actually one per virgin exclusive, so let's take a look at them right now. Alright, so now we're getting into some water type Pokemon. Interestingly enough, we're going to start with 194 in the Pokedex, that is Wooper. Wooper, water ground type, that means it is a four times weakness to grass. That means that water absorb doesn't really help it, neither does damp. I would go with water absorb if you want this on your team. Now that, that typing does make it very defensive to everything else except for uh, grass. Do not get hit by grass, you will die. This Pokemon is exclusive to Fire Red. Its stats are pretty good. I mean, it is a very physical uh, tank. It's very bulky, very tanky. That Water Absorb is good if you can predict the water move switches. Uh, you have that access to ground type stab and water stab, so you can capitalize on that uh, physical attack with the ground at least. Future Generations, Wooper, and its evolved form Quagsire get a little bit better. Hello, Angela. Uh, so these these are okay if you're looking for a water type Pokemon and you don't have one yet. Uh, Quagsire is great. However, in the third generation of games, I do believe that Quagsire is uh, completely outclassed by Mudkip in its evolutions. Now, you Leaf Green users get a Pokemon that I personally just love. I think it's super cute. That is Meryl. The Meryl is the Aqua Mouse Pokemon. It's like the water version of Pikachu. Look at those stats. Ton of health. 
Uh, defense is 80. Special defense is 80, making it rather bulky. That attack stat of 50, though. Oh, that's so bad, isn't it? Well, not if uh, Meryl and its evolved form, Azumeryl, get that huge power, which will actually make its attack double. Now, it's not that great in this game, but in future games, when uh, Waterfall, for instance, is a physical move, and Azumarill using Belly Drum and huge power having that ability and using Waterfall, that physical attack is going to be able to just destroy some teams. It's super, super strong. Uh, highly recommend it if you have it. I don't recommend it as much in this generation. Um, I would I would say, honestly, that you would want to go for Thick Fat in this generation um, just to make yourself a little bit more tankier. Not that it's a huge deal. You already resist fire and ice as is. Uh, so it's not a huge deal. Meryl evolves at a super low level of 18. And also you can breed it to get the, uh, the, the baby form, Azuril. Um, which will level up when its friendship is high enough. So that's how you get those three Pokemon. It's a Wooper! All right, let's catch it. Let's add it. Oh, right. I can't use Thunder Wave. All right, let's see if we can catch it with an Ultra Ball. Wooper is just the worst Pokemon. It evolves into the worst Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. When it walks around on the ground, it coats its body with a slimy, poisonous film. Uh, it's actually a really cool Pokemon. I'm going to nickname this one just because I can. Hello, Angela. Uh, <laughs> I know she'll be happy about it, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is the one and only Angela. Angela the Whooper. And it makes sense that we caught one that was female right away. Uh, super cool. I do think that you leaf green users uh, get a little bit better. Ooh, chili. I made a slushy using ice I shaved inside Icefall Cave. It's chili and tasty. That is the next dungeon that we will be um, perusing in this game is none other than Icefall Cave. Uh, but let's explore a little bit of this island before we just, just go right into... Um, right into this next one into this cave okay so there are definitely two items that are missing at least according to my sources so i'm super confused why uh this isn't working why we are unable uh to use our item finder it's crazy that's so strange uh there's supposed to be an ultra ball and according to this a pearl that we can find on the beach uh the pearl is supposed to be east of the wharf um, but maybe I'm just maybe I'm just crazy or maybe the item finder for some reason isn't whatever You know what? I'm just gonna move on um, My sources say that there is an ultra ball and a pearl here um, But apparently that is not true, and I'm just I'm just crazy uh, Oops, so let's go in here. We can talk to these people. They're not really going to say a Pokemon egg I have no idea. Oh wait the daycare people know about eggs So this daycare is more important than the one in Kanto because this one you can actually put two Pokemon in there And they will breed and sometimes leave eggs which is necessary Pokemon breeding is a very big thing that I'm not really going to get into in the LP of this game because well you're not really going to need it. Like I said before, it's really only for competitive battling and whatnot, and you're not going to be competitive battling. I help take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. It is worth mentioning that this is the only way that you can complete your Pokedex, is by using this to get the baby Pokemon. So, uh, there are some Pokemon that are only available in Gen 2, uh, so we could leave our Pokemon with her. You can leave up to two at a time, and they will have babies, um, like Magmar. If you have a Magmar, you can get a Magby. If you have a uh, Electabuzz, you can get a Elekid. If you have um, uh, Jinx, you can get Smoochum. Giggle. I collected a ton of stickers. I wish I could show them off. Oh, excellent. You've come to the right place. Look, look. See, see? These are my stickers. I bet you want some. I bet you do. I'll give a sticker if you can tell me something awesome about yourself. I'll brag about the Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. You made it into the Hall of Fame? That's pretty good. Yep. I'll give you one of these. And we will get the Hall of Fame sticker applied to our trainer card. So that's not like a huge deal or anything. It's just a little cool thing that you can do. The sticker is on the... Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. It's on the back there. So Hall of Fame debut. Uh, and we will get to see the Pokemon that uh, fought with us. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. And how many hours it took us to hit our first, uh, which don't pay any attention. Apparently... Oh, you found me. Please don't tell Lorelei. Did you know that Lorelei has lots and lots of stuffed dolls? Lorelei of the Elite Four apparently is from the Sevi Islands. These are all stuffed dolls. Um, although I believe one of these, I'm pretty sure one of these is real. Am I crazy? Probably. I could have sworn one of these was real, but maybe I'm wrong. Yep. So she's just super into um, 
to stuffed dolls. So that's pretty much all we can do here. Uh, we can talk to her if we want. Lorelai has returned. Did she find the city life too stressful? Maybe. Uh, and then there's this house as well, which doesn't really have anything super important. Uh, we can talk to these guys who are about to kiss. Uh, ready? Boing! We're having a body slam match to see who wimps out first. If you were to join us, you'd be squashed like a bug, though. How about I teach body slam to a Pokemon of yours instead? That would be great! Uh, which Pokemon wants to learn body slam? This would be a wonderful move to actually teach to, uh, Luna. If we look at Luna's moves, um... Her attack stat is okay, but it's worth mentioning that uh, this is a 85 base power, 100 accuracy move, which is actually better than strength. I'm not going to replace strength because we need strength, um, but it's worth mentioning that it's there. Uh, I don't really have anybody that I want to teach this move to. Um, so as of right now, we're not going to teach Body Slam, but Body Slam is very powerful. It's an 85 base attack. So, I mean, if you have a normal type Pokemon, it's going to get stabbed, and that's a wonderful thing. The Pokemon isn't going to have anything totally new for us either, uh, but it's worth just showing you what it has for stock. And, uh, Ultra Ball, Full Restore, Max Potion, all that jazz. Max Repel, if you need more. Um, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what they got. These guys aren't going to give you anything or say anything. The Seve Islands are in a warm place, except for the Icefall Cave. Uh, so we will be doing the Icefall Cave in the next episode of Pokemon Fire Red, uh, which is the, one of the first, like, real side quest that we did we already got the ruby so it looks like we just need to get the sapphire now and in the next episode we'll actually be able to uh see what lorelei's up to thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below if you guys did the post game when you played pokemon fire red and leaf green i remember the first time i played i didn't even know there was a post game so i didn't all right thank you all very much never give up never surrender